Thank you for tuning in to today's segment on how quantum key distribution, or QKD, works. My name is Jamie Willett, and I am a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Before we begin, for those who aren't familiar with Encryption Consulting, we are an established data protection consulting practice that covers all aspects of the data protection landscape, such as encryption, data security, key management, and privacy. We help our clients in understanding and implementing cybersecurity per their threat landscape. With introductions out of the way, let's dive into today's topic, how quantum key distribution works. Our focus for today's video will be on the inner workings of quantum key distribution. We will start with an introduction to quantum encryption as a whole, then we will cover quantum key distribution basics. The most crucial topics in this video are the security features of QKD and the basic structure of a QKD. Finally, we will learn how quantum key distribution works as a process. Hopefully, you will gain some information from today's presentation. Quantum key distribution is a cutting edge cryptographic technology that leverages principles from quantum mechanics to establish secure communication channels. Unlike traditional encryption methods, which rely on mathematical algorithms, QKD utilizes the inherent properties of quantum particles for key generation and exchange. The primary objective of QKD is to securely distribute encryption keys between communicating parties. By harnessing the unique properties of quantum particles, QKD ensures that encryption keys are generated, exchanged, and authenticated in a manner that is inherently secure and tamper-proof. This presentation will provide a high-level explanation of how quantum key distribution works, covering quantum key distribution basics. You will also learn about various security features that quantum key distribution allows for. Finally, we'll discuss the various steps involved in implementing quantum key distribution. So what is quantum encryption? Encryption involves converting data into an unreadable format that requires a specific key for decryption. Traditional encryption relies upon mathematical algorithms to code and decode data with an encryption key used for scrambling and decrypting key used for unscrambling. In contrast, quantum encryption leverages the principles of quantum mechanics in parallel with formulas. Here, information is encoded using quantum states of particles like photons. These states create a unique key for encrypting and decrypting data. Quantum encryption relies on the randomness and unpredictability inherent in quantum mechanics, rendering it more secure than traditional methods. Moreover, it can detect any interruption attempts, further enhancing its security. Let's delve deeper into quantum key distribution, a subset of quantum encryption. Unlike traditional encryption methods, which transmit keys over public networks, QKD ensures secure key distribution exclusively between trusted parties. By leveraging the principles of quantum mechanics, QKD exchanges quantum states between sender and receiver to generate a secure key. Any attempt to intercept these quantum states would disrupt the communication, allowing for the detection of eavesdropping. This can be termed as a major differentiator when compared with traditional cryptographic algorithms. In essence, QKD revolutionizes key distribution by employing quantum mechanics to guarantee unmatched security. Let's explore the various security features provided by a QKD environment. QKD ensures secure key exchange, vital for maintaining confidentiality and integrity in communication channels. QKD leverages quantum mechanics principles like superposition and uncertainty, offering inherent security due to the unpredictable nature of these quantum states. The quantum no cloning theorem states that it is impossible to create an exact copy of an unknown quantum state. This theorem enhances QKD security by preventing adversaries from replicating quantum states to intercept encrypted data. Encryption keys generated through QKD are inherently secure due to the randomness of quantum states. The unpredictable nature of quantum states makes it virtually impossible for adversaries to decrypt encrypted data without the correct key. QKD can also detect disturbances in transmitted quantum states, 
alerting parties to potential interception or eavesdropping attempts. Any attempt to intercept or measure quantum states alters their properties, allowing legitimate parties to detect intrusion. You can think of this as a similar process to error correction in data transfer. QKD remains resistant to interception, even with advancements in quantum technologies. Quantum mechanics laws prevent unauthorized extraction of information from transmitted quantum states, ensuring data security. QKD offers robust security features, including disturbance detection, unbreakable encryption, resistance to quantum interception. These features are what makes QKD indispensable for securing communication channels in the post-quantum world. You might be curious on how QKD actually works. Let's explore a model of QKD. QKD operates by transmitting random quantum states of light particles known as photons through fiber optic cables between communicating parties. These photons collectively form a stream of qubits representing ones and zeros, just like in a binary system. QKD employs the principles of quantum mechanics to establish secure communication channels. Let's look at an overview of this process. First, we'll start with quantum state generation. In QKD, the sender, Alice, generates a stream of quantum states, typically using individual photons, with each state representing a bit of the encryption key. These quantum states are prepared in various polarization states, such as horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Next, we have transmission. Alice will send the prepared quantum states to the receiver, Bob, through a quantum communication channel, typically a fiber optic cable or a free space transmission. Each quantum state is transmitted one at a time, ensuring the security of the key exchange process. Upon receiving the quantum states, Bob randomly chooses measurement bases, such as rectilinear or diagonal, to measure the polarization of the photons. The choice of measurement bases is communicated to Alice over a classical channel. Alice and Bob compare their measurement bases for each photon. If they use the same basis, the measurement result corresponds to a bit of the shared key. Any discrepancy in the measurement basis indicates potential eavesdropping, prompting the parties to discard those bits and try the communication again. After a sufficient round of quantum transmission and measurement, Alice and Bob obtain a shared secret key known only to them. This key can then be used for securing encryption and decryption of data, ensuring confidentiality and integrity. Let's zero in on the most critical step of quantum key distribution, the key distribution process. Key distribution is the process of securely sharing encryption keys between parties involved in communications. In QKD, key distribution is crucial for establishing a secure channel immune to interception. It ensures that only authorized parties can access encrypted data and maintains confidentiality and integrity. Quantum key distribution begins with the use of quantum states to generate encryption keys. These keys are generated in such a way that any attempt to intercept or replicate them is detectable. Generated encryption keys are exchanged between parties through a quantum channel. Quantum protocols such as BB84 or E91 facilitate the secure transmission of key information. The exchange process ensures that only intended parties possess the encryption keys, preventing unauthorized access. Quantum entanglement is utilized to establish correlations between the key bits exchanged between parties. Entangled particles are measured to derive key information, ensuring the key exchange is secure. The use of entanglement enhances the security of the key distribution process, making it resilient to interception. Error correction techniques are applied to rectify any discrepancies or errors in the transmitted key information. Privacy amplification protocols enhance the security of shared keys by minimizing the information available to potential eavesdroppers. These techniques ensure the reliability and confidentiality of the key distribution process, maintaining the integrity of the communication channel. 
Parties involved in the key distribution can then verify the authenticity of exchange keys to prevent tampering or manipulation. Techniques like digital signatures or hash functions are employed for key authentication, ensuring the legitimacy of encryption keys. Authentication mechanisms guarantee the integrity of the shared keys, mitigating the risk of unauthorized access or data breach. Key distribution is essential for establishing secure communication channels. QKD incorporates quantum principles, protocols, and techniques to ensure the confidentiality and integrity of encryption keys. This brings us to the end of the video. We hope you've enjoyed today's topic, and if your organization is looking for more information on quantum computing or an assessment, please reach out to info at encryptionconsulting.com for further information. You may also visit encryptionconsulting.com slash contact us and leave us a brief message. We will continue discussing quantum encryption in the following weeks, so we encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date. Thank you.